Hello everybody, it's Spider here, DeFi Car Podcast, coming to you once again from location here at the HOJ training facility in beautiful San Antonio, Texas. Of course, we're in the downtown area. I uh, wanted to go over this fight coming up, man. It's going to be for the K-Fury Fighting Championship, and uh, it's going to go down in Tampa, Florida. This is going to be this week, Thursday on March 17th. Uh, now, the promotion itself is going to go, um, it's going to happen inside the uh, Seminole Hotel, Hard Rock uh, Hotel and Casino, of course. And uh, it, it will be available on the UFC Fight Pass. Now, I just did an episode on that event. And um, one of the things that caught my eye on this one was the fact that there's two title fights. There's one in the uh, prelims, which is going to be with the uh, amateur title, and uh, two on the main card. Now, I'm a fan of uh, uh, regional promotions. I mean, I mean, of course, you know, I've been following them for years. I've been covering the sport here in Texas and San Antonio for over 12 years. And uh, one of the things that I like is uh, uh, now is that a lot of these fighters are getting... Um, up there a lot faster and by that i mean uh not a lot of them have less than 10 fights uh not saying that's good not saying that's bad but i mean i'm definitely uh liking the fact that they're not uh getting into the ufc uh battered and beaten up um you know a lot of these fighters man i mean you saw them uh most of the pro fighters came over and a lot of them were older were slower and uh with that whole um you know drug testing of course a lot of them started losing man but um uh, that's another episode but on this one, I mean, of course, I wanted to go ahead and go over the fight card. Now, we've got a uh, what they're calling the next-gen uh, bantamweight title. And, of course, that's going to be for the amateur uh, promotion, man. Palmer versus Castro, of course, both guys coming in with three fights each. Uh, Palmer coming in uh, undefeated. So, of course, the hype, you know, the hype is real. Uh, the guy's obviously doing um, doing the right thing. You know, he's been training. He's been getting, uh, uh, you know, for him to stay undefeated, should I say. But, um that's going to be for a title fight. Looking forward to it. Always the first card in the fight. Uh, I'm a fan of. That sets the pace. And uh, the next fight, it's actually two guys making their pro debut. And uh, Molina versus Baba La Ruz. And uh, I chopped up your name. I I, I apologize. Uh, but this is going to be in the welterweight uh, bout. And the one thing about it, man, is that they, they're both making their pro debut. But um, they're heavily experienced. You know, they fought in the amateur circuit. I mean, of course, you know, it always takes... Uh, the coaches, training partners, your management to actually say uh, you're ready to go. And obviously these guys are, but I mean, it's a great platform to go. Uh, of course, it's not going to be on the UFC fight, um, fight Pass format, but um, I'm pretty sure that, uh, what they've been doing is putting a lot of their fights on their page, which I think is beautiful. I mean, I enjoy watching that. Of course, everybody else does, but uh, keep an eye on that, man. This is going to be for the Cage Fury Fighting Championship, of course, uh, this Thursday at the uh, Hard Rock uh, Hotel and Casino and um in tampa florida so here we go uh next bout of course we have um Tristaglio taking on picciano now this is going to be a featherweight fight um of course um you know picciano making his pro debut with the other uh, opponent uh Brischiano, uh, of course uh, coming in one-on-one -on -one. um it's going to set the pace of course like i said it's going to be a featherweight boss so both guys i expect a lot of feet a lot of speed a lot of movement and a high pace fight you know we'll see how that goes uh, next bout is going to be another pro debut taking on, uh, well, incurring taking on Romano, who's all in one. Now, once again, you know, experience. I mean, these guys are from Florida. Uh, I'm not sure both guys are from Florida, but the promotion itself is. And being a, that it's an undercard, I'm pretty sure they're close to home. You know, and it makes it for uh, not so much a cheaper card, uh, cheaper uh, format. But I mean, it's just easier for them to get to the promotion without, you know, messing up flight or, you know, having car trouble driving across uh, the states. But um, and up next, Hernandez versus Maldonado. Uh, Hernandez is one and one. Of course, it's going to be a welterweight bout. Um, I believe it's three five minute, three five minute rounds. And uh, Maldonado, of course, one and no. So of course, this is going to be the main event for the uh, prelims. So that's got to be good, right? I mean, you still you're still main eventing uh, a uh, part of the platform, man. So definitely, uh, we looking forward to this. This is going to be Thursday, of course. I just did a video. UFC Fight Pass, subscribe, uh, you'll get your money's worth, man, no doubt. Now, we're going to go on to the main card. Of course, once again, this is for the Cage Fury Fighting Championship uh, happening this Thursday in uh, Tampa, Florida. Now, starting off the uh, fight card, of course, for the uh, main card, it's going to be Hancock taking on Kanchi Bekov. Of course, this is going to be a lightweight bout. And, um, you know, Hancock, of course, 4-4, four and four, taking on 5-2. and two. Uh experience of course like i said i mean both these guys i'm pretty sure will be uh headlining the event um soon you know before getting the call so excited about that uh, that's going to be in the lightweight bout so of course that's um uh a good bout i mean 155 145 155 and 170 i think are the hottest uh, weight classes out there man when it comes to entertainment 
Uh, not to exclude everybody else. I love everybody. Everybody, every weight class, of course. Um, next bout, welterweight fight. This is going to be one and two. Fernandez takes on uh, Lopez, four and three. So experience versus unexperienced. Who's to say, man? I mean, of course, you know, the guy's uh, looking for that win. Uh, actually plateau his um, his fight record. And, of course, you know, in due time. But uh, that's going to be in the welterweight bout. So, once again, highly anticipated. I love those weight classes. Uh, next one up is going to be Ratk versus uh, Piersma. Now, this is going to be a welterweight bout, of course. Uh, Piersma, 3-0, uh, and o, taking on the 4-3 and three experienced fighter. Um, once again, you know, I mean, I'm not sure as far as their uh, amateur records, of course. But um, both guys look like studs, so I'm pretty sure they're going to come out swinging. Uh, welterweight bout, you know, explosive knees, elbows, I mean, the works. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, moving up, 11-7, and seven, Smith takes on Lewis, 5-1. Um, this is going to be a bantamweight fight. Um, thing with bantamweight, I, I think a, a lot of people don't expect uh, knockouts, don't expect uh, uh, TKO victory because of the weight class. Um, I still see a lot of uh, movement. I still I still see uh, a lot more um, scrambling, a lot more action. You know, so I'm definitely a fan of that. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, so looking forward to it. Of course, once again, this is going to be um, in the bantamweight division. Now, we're going to go on to the uh, co-main event, of course, for the event. This is going to be uh, Pulley versus Ale Quinn. Uh, Pulley, Pulley uh, 8-4, and four, taking on 6-0 uh, and oh, uh, Ale Quinn. Uh, man, undefeated, uh, like I said, momentum. Um, Pulley, I'm not sure if he's coming in with a winning record, of course. But uh, both guys, of course, you know, co-main event. I mean, that's basically saying they're ready for a title shot, man. So this is going to be in the welterweight um, title shot, of course. Um, you know, whoever wins, you know, definitely. I mean, bragging rights, I'm sure. Uh, I'm not sure both guys are from Florida, but once again, um, when it comes to the Coleman event, of course, a lot of time they get flown in, man. So we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be watching. I'll definitely be uh, going over this while the fight is going on. And uh, as mentioned, K Fury Fighting Championship, uh, UFC Fight Pass this Thursday in Tampa, Florida. And um, don't miss out, man. Definitely subscribe if you haven't. Well, what's your money? And the main event, Ortiz versus Smith. 5-0, Ortiz taking on a 6-2. This is going to be for the lightweight title fight for Cage Fury fighting uh, championship, of course. And um, I expect fireworks, man. I mean, especially a lightweight division. You know, like I said, that's gold. That's going to be a gold weight class. Um, you know, I'm a fan, of course. Uh, like I mentioned, if you're not on the UFC Fight Pass, the uh, prelims, I'm more than sure they're going to be on their, either on their Facebook page or YouTube channel. So, uh, go like their Facebook page and subscribe to their YouTube. Subscribe to this YouTube. And uh, thank you for the support, man. This is Spider, DeFi Card Podcast. Until next time, follow up.